hello in this lecture we want to study how to add a graph to a graph and also study how to add a table to a graph this is very useful if you want to visualize your data or make it more interactive for your viewers so let's zoom out of this come to project explorer choose book one and then in book one come to sheet two so you see this data which we saved as xrd before but note we have it in a customizing file that we saved together so select the first three columns and then plot and then come to basic 2d choose line so the reason why someone would want to add a plot to a plot is if you have a huge if you have a huge plot which with a huge x-axis for instance it's difficult to know what is going on in here so maybe you want to still keep it and say oh this pattern is kind of the same it's almost similar but if you zoom in the intensity is different then you want to maybe add one plot of just the section in here and it's something that i see a lot of people do so the way you do it is you just hold control key and then come to the tools toolbar come to scaling and click scaling still holding the control key you select the area that you want to add to the graph and then a new enlarged window will pop up which will be here too for you so you have an enlarged window so what you do is you click on it or select it and then control c and then come back to your graph area and then do control v to paste so now you have that graph in here the enlarged area you can zoom out of it yes so you can zoom out of it there you go and if when you're zooming out if you want to keep everything you, you just hit control and still zoom out and you keep everything that you have but what what is interesting is this is a dynamic plot so you can come in and edit it like a usual plot within a plot so you see this plot is selected as layer 2 within your plot if you go back to layer 1 now you can edit your previous one so it's kind of something very interesting that you can do using origin just to elaborate on one plot so you see in this plot is is difficult to see what is going on in here but now you can tell the story because you can see that the intensity is bigger so your peak is has higher intensity at c than at b and your viewers will get what you're saying and once you you are done you can close the enlarged one and this shaded area goes away so now you have your plot the next one that i want us to learn is how to add a table to your plot you may also need a table to maybe have a summary or have some figures shown what you do is you come to the add object toolbar if you don't have it remember you can go to view toolbars and you can look for it add object to graph toolbar so you can get that here so that is this one and then the last one is create a link table and this is our graph 15 the number of columns let's say two number of rows let's choose two we can add a title as let's say hi and we can show labels we can add a table name as well let's keep it this way so here we go this this is this is our table you can zoom in zoom in a little bit so you, you have more room for it so if you want to add whatever contents that you want to add you just double click on it it brings you to this table window and let's just say we are going to write one 
one one one and then you hit update and it shows in your graph and you can take it back to your graph so now you have it in here you can come in also and change the dimensions and change things around it so it's something very useful to do however you want to plot you can use some of these features to make your data visualization very interesting so thank you and see you in the next lecture